I've been in the Lumix system for a few months now, and this year I invested in two Lumix S52s. And on today's video, I want to review the Panasonic Lumix 24 to 105 millimeter F4 macro lens with built-in stabilization. There's not so many lenses out there that feature stabilization. And even though this lens was released in 2019, it's still a top choice with the release of the S52 and the S52X. I also noticed there's not many reviews on this lens and not enough footage out there. I purchased this lens specifically to do product B-roll and since it's a zoom lens, you're fully covered from a nice 24 millimeter wide angle to a whooping 105 millimeters, which lets you get amazing close-ups and a nice bokeh on the background for a nice background separation with your subject. Let's talk about my favorite features this lens brings, as well as some of the negatives. This lens is not small, especially when you compare it to the prime lenses, which are very short and lightweight. It measures 4.6 inches long by 3.30 inches wide. It weighs 680 grams or one pound and a half. So it's definitely a big boy. However, when you pair with the Lumix S52, it does not overpower it and they make a real nice pair together. When shooting and holding the lens from the bottom, it reduces the shakiness because of the nice size and it feels just right for video and photography. This lens features a state-of-the-art optical image stabilizer with 5-axis dual IS-2, which is just phenomenal, especially when paired with the already awesome IBIS of the Lumix S52. If you want to get rid of your gimbal, this combination of camera and lens will definitely let you do this as all the video footage that I have taken with this lens and camera looks real stable. I have also tested this combination with my RS3 DJI gimbal and even at running full speed while I was chasing my kids as they played with water balloons in the backyard, the footage is amazingly stable. If you wish to vlog or do talking headshot videos, the 24 millimeter is usually the ideal size, so you'll be covered for most of your needs. This angle right here is the 24 millimeter on this lens. What do you think? Do you like it? It will also zoom in all the way up to 105 millimeter. This is amazing when doing product B-roll shots and you can zoom all the way in and you'll get a beautiful blurry background. You have no idea how nice this is until you actually have the capability of instantly zooming in and out depending on what you're shooting. Talking about zoom, this lens is a macro lens, which means it's going to let you get up close and personal. You can get up to 0.3 meters or 11.8 inches close. This comes in handy when shooting a product and you zoom in, it will get you a beautiful blurry background that looks superb. If you combine this with the S52 live cropping feature, you can get some insane looking B-roll shots. This also comes in handy for photography, instantly making it look like a photography expert. This lens is also dust and water resistant, which is great for when you're out in the elements. The new Lumix S52 is also water resistant, so it's a perfect combo wombo right there. This lens brings two rings for zooming and focus. It also brings buttons to turn off the stabilization, switching between autofocus and manual focus, and a lock button to keep all the settings in place. This lens is expensive coming in at around $1,200, but 
but there's not much out there that brings all the amazing features packed into this one package for this price. This lens will usually go on sale and when I got mine, I was lucky enough to get a brand new for only $650. So make sure to be on the lookout for those deals. Another con is the F4 aperture, which will not do as good in low light. However, don't let the F4 stop you if you want that blurry background, as when you zoom in, you'll still get that beautiful looking bokeh. If you're using this in a controlled lighting like me for product B-roll shots, the aperture is also not an issue. And if you're using for vlogging during the daytime, it's also not an issue and you'll get good looking shots. Overall, I love this lens and it's my go-to lens when doing B-roll photography and it's just a well-built lens. You'll definitely not be disappointed with it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are new here, subscribe to our channel. It would help a ton. Also, don't forget to like the video so it can spread to other people looking for this particular lens. Until next time, Ultratech out.